Hello and welcome to another Rock Climber Life video. I am your host, Jif Zafrin, and today we're doing something a little bit different. I got a comment on my Facebook page that, uh, and, the, and the question was, what are these different types of climbing? What is sport climbing? Is it even a sport? What is this, you know, top rope, trad, all these different things? And I figured, you know, that's a completely valid question because not everybody who's going to visit uh, the blog or my Facebook page or any of my other uh, you know, ways to contact me, not everybody's going to be so experienced in climbing. And there's going to be lots of, lots of climbers out there who've just started. So today we're going to go through the four main types of climbing, and these are the four, uh, four most common. So the first one is bouldering. Bouldering is basically just climbing at low levels. So if we had a small boulder on the ground, our climber is just going to climb up the boulder and his only form of protection is called a bouldering pad. And a bouldering pad is basically just a small mattress that you would place under, underneath you that in case you were to fall, you would fall on the pad instead of on the hard ground. So you wouldn't break your ankles or if you fell on your back, you wouldn't you know, injure yourself. And bouldering is, like I said, to low heights, so it's mainly around 10, 10 feet, something like that. Now there is highball bouldering where some climbers climb up to, you know, back-breaking levels, you know, 20, 30, 40 feet sometimes. But most bouldering is in the 8, 10, 15 foot range. The next form of climbing is top roping. What top roping is, is mainly the, the safest form of roped climbing. So if we had our cliff, and we have our climber climbing up, there would be an anchor at the top of the cliff, whether it's with a tree or bolts or some other natural anchor like a boulder. The rope is attached to the climber, goes up to the anchor, and then back down to the belayer who is standing on the ground. And this is also called a slingshot top rope because the, the, the rope goes from, again, to the belayer, to the top, and then down to the, the climber. There's another type of uh, top roping called top belay. And what that is, is if we extend our cliff to the other side, if we had our belayer on the top of the cliff, and our climber, The belayer would anchor, uh, would make an anchor on the top of the cliff, again similar to the slingshot top rope, except this time the rope would just go down to the climber like this. So the belayer would be on top of the cliff instead of on the bottom. Obviously in top roping, you have to be able to have access to the top of the cliff. The next type of climbing is sport climbing. This is the first type of climbing that's considered also lead climbing. So if we have our cliff, all up and down the rock face, there are pre-placed stainless steel bolts. And on the bolts, there are small stainless steel rings. So if we can imagine these rings that are spaced along the cliff line. And they're anywhere from 8, 10, 15 feet. It depends who set them and, and so forth. So our climbers on the rock. and the rope goes through the bolt and how you attach the rope to the bolt is with something called a quick draw. And a quick draw is basically a carabiner, two carabiners, separated by a small piece of nylon. And this nylon piece in the middle is also called a dog bone. So what the climber does is he takes the quick draw, clips it into the bolt, and then takes his rope, which is attached to his harness, and clips it into the other carabiner. And this rope goes through all those quick draws which are attached to the bolts and down to the belayer. Now the reason why this is called leading is because as you move up you keep clipping into these bolts that are attached onto the rock. So of course if you fall, let's, let's zoom in to this general region here, Okay, here's the last bolt, here's the climber. 
and it goes down. So if the climber falls, then he falls not only the road distance of this rope below the bolt, but also plus rope stretch. Okay? So there's definitely potential for longer and potentially more dangerous falls, of course. So this is sport climbing. The last type of climbing is trad climbing. This is short for traditional climbing. This is also leading, similar to sport climbing. So again, if we have our cliff. Now the climber this time is placing his own protection. There are no bolts on this route. So he has to place his own protection into certain points on the rock. And then his rope goes down through the protection and down to the belayer. Now, what is protection? There's a variety of different devices that are, used, that are considered climbing protection. Some are example like this. This is a spring-loaded cam, and this would go into a parallel crack. Other types of protection are things called nuts, and nuts go into a constriction, so a crack that has a V-shape. If you can see, the, the nut has a, a V-shape to it. So the climber places uh, his protection into the walls, he moves up, and of course he can place as much or as little as he wishes, and that also depends on uh, the features of the rock. There may be areas where there is no, there's no ability to place protection. There may be others where you could place it every couple feet. So it all depends on the route. So, like I said, this is also leading, and in the same case as sport, if the climber falls, he falls from his last point of protection, below that, that distance of rope that's, uh, that's, that has, is out in the form of slack, plus rope stretch. Now, of course, trad climbing is more dangerous and more committing than sport climbing. And the reason is, is because you have to know how to place this. This isn't just completely, you know, you can't just blindly place these in cracks. You have to know what you're doing. So that is trad climbing. Now those are the four types of climbing, bouldering, top roping, uh, sport, and trad climbing uh, that most people will encounter. And because this is more focused on a beginner type of aspect here, we're not going to go into the other types of climbing. Briefly, very briefly, the other types of climbing, which I personally have no experience in, aid climbing uh, is using your own, the, the protection that I showed you, cams and nuts, to actually climb the rock instead of climbing manually. So that's aid climbing. Mixed climbing is a mixture of ice and rock, and you use uh, ice tools and crampons. Ice is just pure ice, so there's no rock. It's just like climbing over a frozen waterfall, for example. And then there's something, and then there's alpine, which would be example like climbing Mount Everest is an alpine climb, where there's a mixture of hiking and technical ice climbing, and uh, it, it's it's kind of a, a big mountain style instead of short. Uh, single pitch climbing or multi pitch climbing that you could do in a day or a couple days. And with that, this has been Jeff Zafford with another Rock Climber Life video. Be sure to check out the blog rockclimberlife.com for more. Thanks for watching.